Hey guys, today on Mad Mike's Garage, we're going to do an injector cleaning on a Duramax. I think just about any Duramax is compatible with this version. I'll show you what I have here. It's not what I wanted to get, but it's what I could find. Here is what I have here. I'm going to try to get you zoomed in. So you can see this, sorry. It is a BMW cleaner that is supposed to be the exact same thing as the AC Delco X66P that was discontinued like three or four years ago. But apparently BMW is still running the same formula. I don't know. AC Delco has a new version of their top end cleaner which is ac delco 10-3015 so when we say top end cleaner we mean don't put it in here jackass because you'll you'll mess up some stuff what we need to do here is put it in the upper end of your engine so what we're going to have to do here is Take both fuel lines off here, which I just have done because I replaced my um, fuel pressure relief valve. And I'm in pretty good, um, I, I have some good practice here. So we'll do this and then I'll show you um, what I have here. I bought these, I believe these were from AutoZone. They're just... Uh, it's a four piece disconnect set and it has all your different lines. So we're going to need half inch and three eighths. So the bottom two are what we're going to need to get these two lines off. I'm not going to bore you with all that. I'm just going to take them off and go from there. I wanted to show you what I just did, but there's no way I could physically hold the camera way back in here and do it. But when I put this on, when I put this piece on the line, I pushed up on the line and made sure this was seated right here. And then while I was pushing up, I made sure I hold this directly down on it and then I pulled the whole thing down. The line and this item, which is your, you know, your fuel pressure relief tool here. I pushed everything down at the same time and, and both of the lines popped right off. The problem I see is when you put this in and then you start pulling on the line by itself, it doesn't want to release. But if you push down on this and the line at the same time, they pop right off. That's my experiences and that's what I've learned doing this now. This is the second time I've done this in the last week. Um, definitely this time I look like a professional the last time. I look like a damn fool. So take it for what it's worth. Push this down with the line and then don't be afraid to pull because those lines are pretty um, resilient and you think it's you're you're not hurting anything. It just it takes a lot of pressure to pull that line off there. Um, even when the lock's not engaged. So it's it's you know, it was misleading the first time because I was like I was pulling down and I was expecting it to just pop off and be very you know very easy and even when the lock pops it's still not an easy pull because these lines have been in this configuration for you know 20 years almost and when you start pulling you need to you need to pull on them you you can't be you can't be sissy man you got to pull on them and they'll pop off like I said pull everything together straight down and you got this. So now what I'm going to do is put my half inch line here. And I'll put my three eighths inch line here. And then I'm going to run them into my jug. And then I'll pour in my BMW top end cleaner. And then we will fire the truck up and start our injector cleaning process. Okay. So now I have my whole, I have my lines on. I tighten them down, the half inch and the three eighths. And I put them, I put them on 
So now what I need to do is put my bottle of BMW 8214042837 I'm going to put the entire bottle into this roughly three quarters of a gallon of diesel fuel. It's going to have me pretty close to top and we will see where this ends, where we end up with this. It's going to be close. I'm going to shake it up then once I get it all put in here. I'll put the lid on and, and give it a good, a good shaking. Um, I thought it would be fun to pour some in that other end and yeah that didn't that didn't end well so anyhow hopefully it doesn't cause cancer okay so there we go uh we have those in there i'm gonna put the lid back on the bottle okay so i could have left it the way it was um, so here we go I shook it up just to make sure it's good and circulated circulated huh? is circulated even a word let's make sure it's good and uh, it's I'll tell you what it's gonna be a tight fit to get the half inch and the three eighths in here together and sorry for my noobness but i'm not even sure which one is the actual um return and which one is the other one but they should be both in the bottom now so we should be good so now that you can see that i have my half inch and the three eighths in this bottle which is full gallon not quite it's pretty it's pretty close I'm curious to see how long this is gonna run it's probably gonna take a couple hours um, like I said those are down I'm gonna go ahead and hop over here and repurge this system which um, it's pretty decent here it's didn't take much so we'll see what we have here and see how long this takes to fire up and what we have as far as run time because i'm kind of excited to see myself okay she fired right up formula that you could buy I think it got discontinued in 2018 or so 2017 possibly the new one I have heard mixed reviews on that it wasn't supposed to have worked as well but that it does work so keep that in mind I don't even know if you can buy this BMW formula anymore I bought it a year ago and it's been on my shelf I bought two bottles and I'm curious to see hopefully this will clean up my injectors I'm more into just keeping my truck running well it's running fine it's all boom stock with 340,000 miles it doesn't smoke it doesn't give me any issues but I want to keep it that way so the whole point of this is I wanted to do it here in the early spring before I need my truck 
to haul my boat because that's the whole reason I bought this truck was to haul my boat. So I wanted to go ahead and give it a good cleaning, make sure it's, it's nice and happy before I even start my season. It's 4.30 p.m. like right here when it started on the low side or down to here I did give it a couple wax in the throttle seem to use a good bit of fuel after you shoot stood on it so I'm just gonna let it idle the rest of the way and I'll get back with you here when it's closer to being empty Okay, here we are at 5.30 p.m. So you guys can see, we have probably in our 15 minutes or so of run time here. It seems to be going well. YouTube here we are it is 6 p.m. and we are getting down there down there in fact enough that I'm gonna call it there's not hardly any fuel left maybe be like three ounces left it is what it is I'm gonna shut her down before it starts sucking air and I have to deal with that mess so that being said, everything seemed to go go well. I don't know if it made a difference, but I gave it several different, uh, I like revved it up a few times during the whole process. I don't know if that does anything. We're gonna find out. Like I said, this is preventive maintenance. I had zero issues with this vehicle before any of this happened. I just bought these because I, do not feel like spending four thousand dollars for injectors for my diesel truck so i'm going to try to do what i can to make these things last as long as i can every fill up that i do with this i put in a two gallon uh, steel chainsaw oil like two stroke additive in my tank just to help lubricate my injectors Everybody else, you know, a lot of people use the diesel clean and the all the fancy diesel service stuff. I've just been running the steel chainsaw two gallon mix in every fill up. This truck has 340,000 miles. It's still running on the original injectors. So that being said, it's working good for me. I haven't spent the big money on injectors yet. And hopefully I don't have to. That's the biggest issue we fight with the new fuel these days is the, there's no lubrication in the fuel these days. It's super, super clean and low emissions. And I mean, that's, that's the deal. That's why that's why these injectors are failing because they weren't designed to be run on this new fuel in my opinion that we're running through them and that's why you have injector failures so do what you do man this is what i'm doing if you don't want to do it that's fine it's just my advice it's my opinion and take it or leave it this will be the end of my video, so see you later. Next time on Man Mike's Garage, we'll see what we get into. I fired it up and it shut off. I just had to prime the factory fuel filter one time and we're good to go. Our factory lines are back on. It's drawing from the tank now. So you know, this is a good way to try to keep your injectors alive so you don't have that big expensive repair bill. 
So next time on Mad Mike's Garage, it's hard to tell what we'll have on. Just stay tuned and find out.